And now, so if I put in a slicer, and what I'm going to put a slicer in for is I'm going to put a slicer by the sales person. So what I'm going to do is go um, click on insert slicer, and then I'm going to go salesperson, and I'm going to say OK. And now let me pull this over here. Okay, so let's see in this period what Jan did. And there you can see the, the totals are for Jan, and then you can go uh, Terry and uh, this other gentleman and Larry and John, and then you could go. Um, now, this is very interesting, but the other one isn't changing. We'd like them both to change. So when we have our table selected here, our, our, our slicer selected, what we're going to do is we're going up on the menu bar and we're going to report connections. And right now, this is linked to pivot table three. So now we want it to link to pivot table two as well. So then we go OK. So now let's go again and let's go Jan. And you can see that the, the values in both chart change with the slicer. So that is how you link two charts from a pivot table to one slicer.